all you pioneers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Satisfactory 1.0. Uh, again, as I mentioned in the first one, this has come out of early release and is now a, uh, well, I say a finished game. It's They're still providing updates, so uh, uh, this should be a fairly stable from this point on as far as your builds and whatnot. So uh, it was time to get back into here. So in the last episode, we uh, finished all of the hub upgrades. So if we come over here and we look at our active milestones, we can see that we have finished tier zero, which was uh, all of these. We are now on tier one and tier two. So what we're gonna try to get done today, we'll see how far we get, uh, probably run about an hour or so. Uh, we're going to work on tier one, our base building, uh, which will give us access to all of these particular things. Although I, the only thing that I use a lot of is the lookout tower. Uh, we wanna get our logistics and actually I think we'll do the logistics first and then we'll do the base building because this gives us access to the splitter and the merger and whatnot. And so uh, that's what we are going to do today. So let's go ahead and select this milestone. And it's waiting for the resources. So we need plates, rods, and copper wire. And that should give us our milestone logistics, yep. Uh, so let's look at uh, what we have to be able to build. On our production, we can build a miner. So what we're gonna do is just start uh, setting this up. Uh, I would love to be able to have the splitters, but that's what we're going to uh, accomplish now. So let's go ahead and add this uh, we'll do two of these, and which means we need a portable miner, uh, plates, and limestone. So let's see. Uh, let's grab our ore out of this portable miner. So we already have one portable miner made with uh, this. And we can throw this over here into the smelter. And let's uh, do this. Uh, let's go ahead and put these in. But let's think about this for a second. I need plates. And one of the things I wanted to do was start setting this up. So we could actually build that uh, uh, smelter or that uh, miner on top of this node right here. And what we'll do is run it out kind of this away. All right. So one thing that'll be missing is the splitter, but then we can uh, redesign once we get this up and running. So we're not having to do all the work. So in order to get this built, we needed to make some iron plates and get some concrete. So let me do that right now. Let's grab these uh, iron plates or iron ingots. Let's get over here, get lost. We'll pound out these 20 plates that we need. Uh, plates, iron plates. All right. Uh, and off to the right right there, you can see it's letting us know how many we have. So we already got one portable miner out there mining. We do need to build another portable miner. So let's go do this. Let's see if we've got enough materials to build. We do. We can build a portable miner. There we go. That's built. So that's one of the two that we need. And we did use a plate, so let's build some more plates. 
couple of extras of those. So we have our plates, we have our miners, and we need concrete. Uh, do we have... So I've got to run down there and grab limestone. So well, let's get going. And let's at least have this out just in case. We should... Uh, let's do some collecting as we're going. This way we can uh, throw this into the biomass. Keep that running. We'll grab our limestone down here. And we're gonna end up doing the same thing. We're gonna build a uh, limestone processing. We'll do that out of down here. Off of this miner, off of this node. All right. Okay, let's grab all of this limestone. There we go. And let's see if we can't collect this while we're running. All right, so I do this, I hold, I collect this, I hit E, and then I can just start running. And then what happens is as you it will automatically grab it as long as you continue to hold E down. And I probably better not do too that too much of that. I'm gonna make both of us sick. So if we just kind of keep running straight. All right, we're back here. We can throw this. Actually, we want to make biomass out of this stuff, and then throw it into there. Let's do this. Let's. Let's make our biomass. Let's uh, knock those out. That'll knock out fairly quickly. We also need, what did we need? We needed uh, 20, uh, what else? Oh, we wanna make biomass wood. We can do that. We needed uh, 20 concrete uh, sacks. So let's go ahead and make the concrete sacks. And I think that's got what we need. So we'll just, that's good for now. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's throw this biomass into the burner here. Because we're gonna need this for our so we threw wood in there but we can trade this out for the biomass because it actually runs better or runs longer on the biomass so it'll take up to 20 then what we can do is store this other biomass in our little storage container here and we'll throw that grass in there uh, and then we'll throw this wood in here that way we're not using up all of our spaces down here all right let's see if we can get this uh, miner set up all right let's uh, e open we want to pick up the miner and as you can see it also picks up our <coughs> ore that's in there as well all right so if we go to Q and we select that we can see that it's blue uh, middle mouse scrolls the miner around and I think H you can lock the hologram in place and then you can kind of see if that's the direction you want to line up now keeping in mind you have two more nodes over here that you're going to have to figure out so you don't want them getting in each other's way i think i want this to come up let's see if we can turn this a bit more uh, hit H again to unlock it. 
and I think right there. So let's go ahead and put that in place. And now this needs power. So for the time being, we're going to move this smelter over. And we do have a second biomass machine here uh, that was given to us. So if we look at this, uh, we can throw stuff in there, but we're not using it right now. And actually, if we look at this biomass machine, here's something else. It shows what your maximum consumption is. And so we're currently using four megawatts worth or uh, what it will uh, currently, the line itself is what we have hooked up to is four megawatts. So that's the maximum construction. Right now, we aren't using anything because the uh, smelter is sitting idle. And you full capacity of this is 20 megawatts. So you can hook up two or three uh, machines to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this smelter over. And I need to check something. Do we have, what do we, we do have the conveyor belt. That's good. And our power, uh, we do have a power pole. Perfect. All right. So if we hit F, we can take this power line out and then we can disassemble this because we're going to move it over in front of that machine over there. Now, I need to allow some room in here uh, because I'm going to put a splitter in there as soon as we can unlock it with this next tier. So let's go ahead and take that smelter. Oh, and we can build biomass machines. So we may end up, uh, I have an idea on how I want to set up my biomass machines. So we will do that uh, a little bit later. Right now, we're just going to work off the ones off the hub. So we need a smelter. And I want to put this right about here because the miner extracts at 60, I think it's 60 per minute, and the smelter will process 30 per minute. So we can set up two smelters for this miner once we receive the next tier. So I think about right there will work good. All right, we got that in place. And let's uh, escape out of there. Uh, let's see. Three. Do I have the materials? Enough materials. Connect that in. We do. So let's do that. And we want to set this up for iron. So if we go E, we're going to set that up for iron. So we can actually hook this up now so for the time being I'm going to set up a power pole right about here hopefully we have enough materials we do uh, let's throw this right here and let's uh, connect this up I might have to all right let's back there over to there now you notice you have four connection points so we're going to use up three of them here so for the moment what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and use those three but again you're going to it's going to be a constant revamping so we've just set that up for power and then we should be able to run a power line from there to here and we've got that set up for power all right. So the idea is to try to automate as much as you can so we're not sitting here pounding out, uh, doing a lot of stuff manually. So right now, uh, this will build up to 100. 
just like the portable miner did. So it'll store up to 100. But right now it's being pulled all the way through because we have the smelter that is using it as fast as it's coming through. So this will store up to once it hits 100 over here. We'll just need to be pulling those out. So we have those in place. So to get our milestone, uh, what else do we have? We have a constructor. So we can throw this constructor up. Let's uh, put that in. Uh, in order to build that, uh, we need reinforced plates. All right. So let's see what we, which means we need screws, which that's going to be some of the stuff we build. But we want to get that constructor up. Uh, actually, what we want to do is get the logistics in. So let's go ahead and just make the iron plates uh, so that we can get that built. And then we'll start adding those others on there. This will be a little bit quicker so we can get some of the tools that we need to help set up our production lines, uh, at least on how I want to try to set this up this time around. So we need, we're going to have to grab more of those iron ingots out of there, and that's okay. We've got that at least uh, smelting for us and mining for us so that we don't have to do it ourselves. Okay. Uh, let's go grab some more iron ingots out of here. Like that. And then hopefully by the end of today's video, we are completely through tier one. Uh, let's more iron plates. We're going to need to build the rods. We need 300 wire. So that's going to take a bit. So we're going to need to run over there and grab our copper out of there, which we should do this, uh, this time around. While that is making, let's come over here and grab... out of our copper miner. And it can get... Uh, there we go. That way, it can be mining some more copper for us. Okay. And let's... Uh, knock out these copper ingots so that we can make wire. We need 300. And uh, hopefully we can make enough wire out of this one run. And I can see that we're at uh, 90. We might need some more copper. We'll see. Uh, I have two loads worth of it there. I can make a hundred and another uh, 150 copper ingots. So we ought to come pretty close to being able to make the 300 wire that we need. And then this is allowing the other miner and smelter to get some more iron ingots for us. And then ultimately what we need to do, we're going to need to design uh, a miner for the copper over there and be able to run that over to the production area here. What I want to do is set up my first set of constructors to produce the first level of parts, which is the iron plates, the iron bars, the screws, uh, the reinforced iron plate now takes two items. It takes screws and iron plates. So that we will need an assembler, I believe, if I remember correctly, to produce reinforced iron plates, which will be the next tier. All right, that gives us the ability to create uh, the 300 wire. So that should produce fairly quickly. 
get that 300 wire produced. And then we can drop it over into the hub. So, all right, we are gaining on it. There's a hundred. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run over here. Yeah, because production has stopped and grab these iron ingots out so that this will get going again. But we have that. Over here. And let's finish uh, pounding out these iron wires and then we can get the, finish getting the plates. Nice thing about having the stuff right there onto the right right there where you see the build the space elevator and then the logistics that's the milestone those are the items that we're trying to produce so that we get to that milestone and then of course your to-do list is the pieces of equipment or buildings that you want to build and so you that way you'll know exactly what you need Okay, we're almost to 300 wire. There we go, that's 300 wire. Uh, we also needed 150 iron plates. I got 125. Let's get those iron plates and then we can make our iron rods. We need 150 of those, which means we're going to need to get some more iron ingots. So let's go ahead and produce these rods every as much as we can. And then we can go. There we go. So we're at 64. So hopefully another. This isn't quite up to 100. So we've got 55. Let's grab that. I already got some, I could make some more iron ingots over here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make these iron rods and then we'll go ahead and produce the iron ingots. And then that should give us enough for our next milestone. Okay, let's make these at least make enough so we can watch to see we needed uh we've got 120 so we need another 30 iron rods so we'll be able to see how many iron rods we can make once uh we pound out these iron ingots and there we are there we, uh, we can produce the 30 that we need and then we can get another milestone done. And then that gives us the ability for better logistics. There we go. All right. So if we come over here to the hub terminal, we can drop in 150 plates, iron rods 150, and 300. And now we're ready for launch. We click the launch button. And then we get to listen to Ada. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. Breathe out. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. Yeah, no pressure from Ada at all there. Okay, so if we go into our queue here and we go to our logistics, we can see we've got this new lift. And I haven't figured out verticality yet. I will. We've got a new conveyor pole. And we've got, more importantly, we've got the sorting. We've got the conveyor merger, and we've got the conveyor splitter. 
Uh, so under our production, we still have the constructor. So now let's uh, decide what we want to do for our next tier. And then we can start working on some of our logistics out there. So we got base building, which again, I don't really want to do too much of that yet. I just haven't been using any of these blocks per se. We will have to do that. And so, but for now, we're going to just not worry about that. Uh, the field research is good. We can build, that gives us three more inventory slots and the ability to build personal storage boxes, an object scanner, uh, if we need to find something, and then our research, our MAM. So we'll do, uh, let's do the field, let's go over here to tier two. The other thing that uh, we can, we can work on both of these, but I'd like to do the tier one first. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get, we're gonna need the screws and the plates and the wire. So let's see if we can go ahead and do this one. All right. So what we need to do now is, well, let's grab the iron ingots out of here for now so this can keep produ production going. Uh, so what I want to do now is set up two, set up another smelter. And let's see what we need for that. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to Clear out our edit to-do list. And let's clear the list. All right. So what we need now is if we go over to Q, we go to our logistics. I want to put a splitter in. And we're going to need some more conveyor belts. So let's put in a few of those just so we make sure we have enough stuff and then we want to put in another smelter now organization we do have our storage container and there's our rocket launcher ship factory whatever you want to call it uh, coming back so that's our for our field research all right so now, if we do this, freighter, that's our freighter. All right, so let's take this out, and then we can take this out, and that leaves that hooked up. And we can then, at, here's what we want to do. Uh, oh, I need, uh, I need one more cable. And we should be able to build what we want to do over there, which will be two smelters. And then we can start building our constructor to produce our parts. Uh, let's see. Cable. Good. I can go ahead and just knock that out. bring up uh, logistics and a splitter so you can see that it's got one port coming in and three ports coming out we're going to use two of those ports so if we put this right about here in front again if we put it like that and we hit the hologram let's come over here to the side I think that's pretty good right there. And so let's uh, let's go ahead and drop that in right there. Now we can start hooking that into the system here. We can put that right into here. So we need to get our two smelters into place. So if we go Q, hopefully we got enough for them. Uh, Q. Let's uh, bring up our production, which is a smelter. 
And oh, apparently we need more plates and wire. We probably use that. So let's go make those up. And then we can get these set up. I need two smelters, so let's do this. Go back to Q. Let's add one more smelter in there so that we know that we have enough parts for that. And so basically we need... Let's get the iron rods, or no, the the copper wire. We can make 18 of those. And that's gonna give us enough copper wire. Uh, iron rods, we need a few more of those. And then some iron plates. There we go. All right, that should give us enough to make our two smelters. And I'm trying to remember, did we get our... We did get our constructors, I believe. Yeah, we do have our constructors, uh, which we'll need to put in two of those. So let's get these smelters set up. And Q for... Let's bring that up. Now, if we put that right about there, you don't want to put it too far back. So if we put that right about like that, I think that should give us room to set the other one right next to it. So let's put that on H. Let's see how this looks. Uh, we could probably come back to about here. So let's, let's hit H. Uh, and let's put that, put that right about there. Set that to H. Yeah, I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and put that in right there. didn't want to do that and then if we come over here you can see that it will let you it will show you when you are lined up here as well as if we come over here if you want to try to keep this lined up it's a little but shaky sometimes there we go there's that and then if we put the hologram locket, then we have the ability to nudge. So that's the up and down arrows. And so if you want to try to get this lined up, we can move this a little bit. I think that's pretty close, even though we didn't get the line that it was completely. So let's go ahead and put that right there. Now let's connect these up. We need to go from here up. Oh, doesn't like that angle. That's so we got that a little too close. All right, that's fine. We can fix that. Let's just, uh, we don't lose any of our materials. Let's, uh, the other one over there should be fine. So let's uh, get out of this. Let's build another smelter. Maybe about there. Maybe a little farther out. Let's try it right there. Hopefully that's not... All right, so now let's... There we go. All right. So that'll do that, and then we want to build one over from here. Now you could bring it straight out, and put an angle in, or you can just come right straight up to there. All right, so now we got those into place. So now we've got this uh, splitter that's splitting this off. So the other thing we need to do now is we, I think what I want to do is put another 
power pole in right here. That's one of the things is power management. We are going to end up taking these out once I get my biomass area set up. Uh, let's do that. Now we can go to move the wire from here over to here. And then we need to go from here over to there. And then we need to go from here over to there. All right. Oh, we got to tell these what to make. We want to make iron. So that one's... And we want uh, this to be iron. And then I think what I want to do is put... Since we have the ability to make storage... Uh, let's do this. Let's go down to our organization and let's make two of these. Which means we need some more copper plates and some rods. This will give us the ability to start storing this ore or these ingots. And so we need to grab these. Uh, and then we'll get these plates made. I needed 26 iron plates to build those storage units. Oh, we are going to need some more conveyors, so I probably need to... All right, so that's uh, the plates. Let's make some iron rods. Make sure we have enough of those. Uh, let's go ahead and add some more of these in there to make sure that we have enough. All right, which means we need more iron plates. And then that should be enough. So let's get these iron plates made. Okay, so that gives us enough to build the storage containers and connect them up. So let's try to do this here. We kind of come straight out. Let's go Q. Uh, organization storage all right so the nice thing about this is this will give us try to save as much space as possible if you get it too close then we run into like what we had that other problem Lined up. All right, let's get back over here again. Kind of, if you look through the hologram, you can kind of see when it's reasonably lined up. And I think we're going to hit H with that. And then let's see if we can nudge this back some. And let's see how that looks. Uh, let's nudge it over. A little bit. That should... Let's do that right... Let's do it right there. And then let's hit three. And then we can connect that up to there and then that's going to start putting those out and then let's get another one set up over here all right oh i think this one quit because it's probably full nope all right they're still Oh yeah, I think it probably did. Let's get this storage unit set up here. All right. Over, over, over. All right, let's hit the hologram. So we should be able to nudge this over now. Do 
one more. Let's see how that looks. Maybe nudge it back one. I think we're going to go with that right there. Okay, and now let's get this connected up. right into there. Excellent. Okay, so now we have we actually have a production line set up to where this is utilizing the iron ore coming out of here. So if we go over here, we look and these can process 30 per minute. So it can take in 30 per minute. But if we go over here, we can see that this can process 60 per minute. So we're splitting this down so that the utilization should be fairly even and you shouldn't have anything that really gets backed up. Now what'll happen is once these get filled up, then the production line will stop. But that's okay, because that's what you have storage here for and then once you start using it. Now the next step is building our constructors and why don't we build it to, to produce plates and iron rods. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run right off of that iron node over there to come out to, to come out a little bit and then start building out the production line out here because screws take iron rods so it's basically like a second uh, second uh, uh, level product or part okay so while those are building we can go ahead and produce our screws and plates and let's go grab some more copper we're going to need to get the copper uh, processing set up here as well and what I'd like to do is set it up over in this area next to the copper out here but I've got to kind of decide how I want to, to do that so let's grab that and we can then make our copper wa uh, ingots. We can grab more iron ingots since those are being produced twice as fast now. So let's go ahead and make these copper so that we can make enough wire so that we can get that field research done. And again, I'd like to get through the tier one stuff today. And next episode, we'll go on to tier two as we continue to build out our production lines. All right, how much wire? We can make 70. We're gonna need to take quite a little bit here. Uh, I'll need to go grab some iron ingots as well but once we get the wire done we can get the wire and then drop it into the hub terminal so you can see once you get your production up and you can get your uh, constructors into place that you can then really kind of automate some of this stuff so that we don't have to make the iron. We're, we're set up to where we don't have to make the iron ingots now. So what I should do is throw that uh, iron that I got into one of the machines out there, or I'll just keep it. I like to keep stuff on me. So as I'm traveling around, then uh, I can set it up. And once we get to where we're using tractors, it has a crafting station on there. So that will work pretty well. Okay. Getting close to that 300.
And there we are. Let's go ahead and make that 300 wire. I should go ahead and use up the rest of that copper ingots. Let's do that just so that we get those out of here. It opens up a spot in the inventory, another inventory slot. Once you get going, you, you'll get enough inventory slots that you really, it's not a big deal. And then once we get the MAM up, and then we'll do that next, that's, uh, we get this tier one done, and I think this allows us to produce the MAM. Then we can uh, do some of the field research that will give us access to some better recipes for our biomass and stuff like that. Okay, we're closing in on that copper wire. Almost there, 280. And there's the 300 that we needed. All right. Let's make sure we've got enough iron plates. How many do we have? Uh, we need a hundred. So let's build these out. We'll go grab some more iron ingots. Uh, we'll need to check on our biomass burner, making sure it, uh, let's uh, go ahead and do that as well while we're thinking about it. So we'll grab this biomass out and we can put that in here. Oh, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that in there like that. All right, let's go grab some more iron ingots. Oh, you can see we've already got 300, so we can grab a couple of those, which should allow us to finish making what we need. All right, let's pound out these iron plates. We needed 100 of them for our constructor. We need reinforced iron plates, so that means we need to make screws and iron plates. So that gives us 100. Let's make these iron rods. Uh, we'll need 300 screws. So it makes quite a few screws per rod. But we should have enough materials here to make those 300. And there we go. There's where our counts are. So let's produce these screws. And then we can get another item on the tier. And we only got one more left, so we're trying to get the tier one stuff done today. As well as building out some of the production line stuff. All right, we're at 100. Get these screws built. And then we can start making reinforced plates once we we'll get these sent off. We'll make some more screws. Then we can start putting our constructors into place, which will make these these particular parts that we're pounding out here. All right. There we go. 300. So we can get another thing done over here. Let's uh, drop that in there, drop the screws in, drop the plates, and there we are. We're ready for launch for field research. Let's click that. I always like to go out here and watch. Milestone reached. Supply the molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, with local resources to research and develop new technologies. 
Potential technologies include exploration tools, weapons, and factory buildings. These are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency and alignment with Fixit's core pillars construct, automate, explore, and exploit. To advance Fixit's mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the Pioneer contract. Yeah, so Coordinata, you know, you can go out and get yourself killed if you wanted to, trying to get that research stuff, but we're not going to do that. All right, so we want to go ahead and set up this. It's under special. Uh... It doesn't take too much, so let's, we're going to go ahead and, oop, actually, we want to do that a little bit differently. I want to put that in right there, and then we can go ahead and produce what we need for it. Uh, we need five iron plates, which uh, we need to produce some more screws. Uh... Iron plates, we needed five. We got enough to build those. Oh, we don't. Uh, let's build some more iron plates. All right. Let's see. Uh, we need, let's produce some more screws. Oh, there we go. Now it's giving us what we need. All right, we needed five of those. And... Oh, I must need more iron... Pl All right, let's produce some more iron ingots while we got them right here. I know we could go grab some, but this way... We'll just, uh... Use up some of that iron ore that I have. Okay, let's make some more plates. There we go. Now we can make our reinforced iron plates. I believe the freighter is on its way back. There we go. And, okay, we've got our five plates. Uh, we need 15 cable. Uh, you know what? We're going to have to go grab some more copper. And there is the freighter re-entry. Which also means we can put in our next milestone objective, which is these buildings. Which we're going to need those. Which shouldn't be too bad. So we'll get uh, tier one done. So we'll put that in. Select that. Uh, all right. So I need to come over here and grab some more copper. And while I'm at it, I'm going to run down there and grab the limestone. So that we can make sure we can build. Let's grab this. All butt down to here. Grab that limestone. And then these are going to probably be some of the next things we get set up so that uh, we can start producing these. So, like this limestone, I'll set it up with a... Uh, it'll need a miner. Uh, then a... So he doesn't... You go through a smelter. So that'll take a miner and then a constructor and then a storage unit. And so we'll just set that up down there. We'll need to run power down to it. So we'll get that set up. So I think that'll be some of the stuff that we start working on in the next episode. All right, so we've got this stuff up here. All right. All right. So for the ma'am, we needed to make more iron ingots, which will give us the ability to make wire. And we needed 45 wire. So we're going to need to make more than that. So we'll get up to maybe 60 wire and see if that gives us enough to 
cover our cable and our wire. Okay, let's make our wire. And those, that does give us enough for the wire, but we are gonna use some of it, so we need to make more so that we can make our cable. So let's now let's make our cable and then we need to make some more iron ingots so that we can make enough for our plates there we go let's make our plates now I got conveyor belts on there as well so that's probably we probably have more than enough so let's go ahead and make this ma'am and I think right here is a pretty good spot for it. So let's go Q, uh, the ma'am. And let's turn it to where it's facing something about uh, encroaching. Right, let's put it right there. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised Ada didn't have anything to say. So if we come over here, we can uh, hit E, and then that allows us to process different uh, items, like this hatcher. So we've got this one item hatcher, so let's click that on, and let's start the research. And what that does is gives us, uh, we confirm that, The remains researched belong to a plant-like organism hosting the larva of the flying crab, the most mature of which hatch when threatened. Hatcher remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Okay, so we've already started to unlock, which gives us the ability to make alien protein, which also uh, should give us another recipe. Let's see if it does. If we go over here, uh, we've got hatcher protein. Oh, we, oh, we can make it. We don't have any hatcher right at the moment, I don't think. Let's come over here. We do, we have this right here. So let's go ahead and grab that and let's make some hatcher protein. There we go. Now, we don't have the biomass recipe for that yet. So we're just going to continue to accumulate that, but it makes a much more effective biomass. So we can throw that in right, right there. All right. So we needed to make, let's get these other base building stuff built, uh, which we need. 200 concrete and apparently I only have enough to make 48 so I'm gonna have to make another run down there but let's get this made I guess it takes three so we'll, we'll get this uh, tier one done today though we're gonna go all right, what do we got up here? Let's go ahead and make these iron ingots. Just try to get some of this stuff used up. Reduce our inventory space, or increase our inventory space. Now, I like hitting the sort button from time to time because you end up using a lot of great spaces and stuff like that. So it really kind of helps organize that quite a bit. All right, so we can make 20 iron plates right at the moment. All right. All right. What we're going to do is run over, actually run back down here to the limestone. 
go ahead and gather that up. Might have to take one more trip. That's where we want to get this production line going down here, which we'll do that in the next episode. This way this can get started mining some more. We'll grab that. And let's just grab a few more out of here. All right. Well, we'll let that keep mining away. And we'll come get back up here. And see if we can't get this tier one done. I know we're probably not going to have enough on the limestone. We're going to have to run back down there. But if we come over here and grab our iron ingots, which you can see we're already producing quite a bit of that, and we've got another one on the other side. So that saves us that step. All right. Let's start producing these iron plates and we needed 100 of them and yeah that uh, limestone is only going to produce 35 so we're going to have to make another run of that then we can start getting some of these other construction things into place in the next episode so we don't have to produce plates and rods and screws and stuff. All right. Uh, okay, we've got plenty of plates. Let's get these rods produced. Those will produce fairly quickly. And... Go ahead and drop those two items. We'll drop those everything that we have. We'll make the uh, concrete. All right, there's our rods. Let's go ahead and do what concrete we can. over here is again you'll see it at the top and we put those in there and so we close that out and then you can see under the base building milestone it tells you what you've got filled out so we're just down to needing the concrete so let's run back down here and grab some more limestone we're going to probably need even another one at 100 each. Uh, uh, 100 limestone will make 30 bags of concrete. So we're probably going to need at least a couple of more runs down here. Let's grab that. And while that's producing, I'm going to just start grabbing some more materials here so that we can kind of accomplish a couple of things at once. We want to, as Ada says, exploit. Grab this stuff. In the tier two, we're going to be able to get the chainsaw and then that makes it really nice because then we can start using it for clearing. Uh, we can get wood out of that all right let's go grab what we can i know it's not 100 we're gonna have to make one more trip down here but hopefully uh this will get us all right let's go with that run back up there see how close we can get and I'd like to get this done today. All 
All right. We have gotten some progress done, though. We've actually got some production line going. Okay. To the workbench. Let's uh, make what we can. That's not going to quite put us halfway there. But that gives... This is going to give us almost 150. All right, let's go ahead and make this biomass while we're at it. Get those knocked out. We're we'll waiting for the limestone miner down there. And then we can... Uh, Let's see. All right. Well, let's just, while, while that's mining away down there. So my next plan is to put constructors in here. So we'll be able to put a constructor on each of these. One to build plates, iron plates. One to build iron rods. And then we'll set up from the next iron over there to have it come out. And then it's going to produce... Uh, we'll, well, we'll have to see what the other... Let's look at the Q. Oh, by the way, so O brings up your codex. And so if we click on parts, we can see that uh, we've got iron rods and iron plates and then screws that are made from the iron rods so that's what we have for parts that we can make right now and so i would like to be able to utilize one of these to, to make all my core level one parts and then build that into making reinforced plates which then will as we move along we're going to need to make uh third level parts and so on so, which is going to take the two level parts, or two, uh, the second level parts takes two pieces of parts to put them together, and then you'll get an assembler that'll take three different parts to make the, that particular part, if it makes any sense. All right, let's grab this limestone let's let it uh let's let it uh, produce while we're down here let's go ahead and grab some more biomass might as well we don't have to run down here again and we've got uh barnacles down here which haven't been able to figure out much for them other than you uh, can use it to clear out. So if these are in your way, you can uh, clear that stuff out. All right. Hopefully we can get another coal limestone while we're down here or close to it. And that'll give us enough to make that tier one. Uh, let's see. Well, so far I haven't seen anything bad. Okay. Yeah, we'll just keep collecting this stuff. This is good. As much as I don't like the biomass, it does create an important part of your power supply and once we get going I got an idea on how best to utilize that is that enough? I don't think that's quite enough yet uh, each one of these will make 30 uh, we need we've got 46 I should put that in there we've got 46 so that makes a hundred and forty-five. So 
So this makes, that leaves 55, so this will make 30. Uh, actually, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and just get a little bit more, and then this should give us enough to get what we need. Let's go with that. We'll go ahead and drop those other 45 into the concrete thing. And let's hope we got enough. All right. I know, all this running. Good exercise. Go ahead and drop this in. Okay, so that we need 55 more. And, oh good, we do have enough. So we're able to make 66. We'll go ahead and just pound that all out. That shouldn't take too long. And we can drop that in, and we can get the base building and tier one completed. All right, there we go. All right, let's get the next one done. And there we go. All right, we can launch. All right. Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planetfall, be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. Oh, I'm glad Ada is so out front with everything. All right, that is tier one. So we can go on to, click on tier two. And what we've got to here is parts assembly. This is where we can get the assembler and more of these upper level. Uh, this will give us the ability for solid biofuel, which I think this is the one we're gonna do next and then we can kind of continue on. So we've got to get all of these done in order to unlock uh, our tier three in phase one. But that's to start working on for the next episode. Uh, all right, well, let's kind of take a look. We did get some assembly processing lines, production lines in place. We've got that in uh, next episode. We're going to put some constructors in up here. Uh, we're going to work on our copper. Uh, we need to get that assembly set up, and we need to get our limestone set up. And I hear our uh, factory ship coming back. Here it is, coming in. And look at that. That's pretty, pretty nifty. All right. Well, okay. Well, all you pioneers, if you uh, like this uh, video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the uh, video. And uh, please subscribe. That'll really help the channel out. Okay, pioneers, uh, keep uh, your production lines going and keep the fix-it property safe. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.